I looked in my refrigerator to get some meat to eat. I didn't see no meat to eat. So I called Pam. I said, Pam, I don't even got no spam. She said, well, do you got some potted meat? I said, girl, I got to go. <laughs> I just went to God. God, I ain't even got no spam or potted meat. What do I do for some meat? He said, speak, speak, speak for potted meat. And spam? I don't even have green eggs and ham. <laughs> he said, yeah. Cause Uncle Sam need for you to work. And if you work, you get you some green eggs and ham. You know what I discovered? that you can have some green eggs and ham if you go get a job. You can have pork. You can have some pork chops. You can have some chicken, some eggs, some pot roast, and you can eat whatever meat you want to. Cause you got a job. So if you like the chicken, you can have you some KFC chicken all the time. You can walk up, look at that menu, and order a four-piece chicken meal with extra mashed potatoes. Because you got some meat to eat because you work. So you can eat the meat because you got a job. That's right. Open up your wallet, take out the $10 that you earned. You contributed to this society by being employed. You help the people on the welfare. You help the people who cannot work because of disability. You have been gifted by God to be in your right mind to do what you need to do to put some meat to eat on the table. See, because you know what? I have been in communities where some people are so out of their minds that they cannot take the step that would get some meat to eat and to their house. They can't seem to put that thought together with that necessary action. In preparation for this ministry, God surrounded me by a whole bunch of different people from all walks of life for seven years. I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, what am I doing in a hostel in Big Bear for a year? My family was like, are you nuts? I'm like, yeah, God, am I nuts? He said, do you feel peace? Yes. Am I taking care of you? Yes. You get to look at the beach? Yes. Chill. And in some of those walks, I've come across homeless women who was one application away from shelter, permanent shelter, but they could not do what they needed to do in order to not be homeless anymore. And the ability to do that is a gift. It is a blessing. See, there's some people who are, you are in your mind to the degree that no, you don't like your job, 
but you are in your right mind enough to be able to get up and go to your job. So, to the homeless lady, I said to her, I said, you know, if you fill out the Section 8 paperwork, then you could get an apartment, get on welfare to get yourself up and going. I know some highly intelligent people who are really just crippled in their lives because they cannot seem to surrender their lives to the flow and to, and to God and just kind of do what God tells them to do because God will always lead you to the right way and God most of the time leads us to employment. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. God has given us all gifts that in those gifts, we are able to make a living from doing something. If you have, again, the capacity to, like for instance, sit down and watch something like this to the end, do you know how many of God's people have ADD? How many minutes in and you're still watching? Do you know how hard it is to sit and watch somebody on camera and there's no nothing in the back do you understand how blessed you are you know what i can't even do it i that person that ministry has to really draw me and if you can't normally do it and you're being drawn to me like this that means that you should tune in to me because that means that we have some type of connection here I feel that way about this woman um, on MyChristianVideos.com. I mean, I had no choice. I had to um, look at her videos. And it's the Renew Your Mind series. You know, my journey has been very humbling. Because I knew that I was supposed to be a motivational speaker for years. And so I thought that after God, yeah, bless God. We know I'm a motivational speaker. You know I'm a motivational speaker. Do you know? You know? Everybody know? Okay, let's do this. Okay, now what is the first place we're going to go? Yeah, maybe we should start with Joyce Meyer Ministries. Bless God. Yeah. I think I'll call her tomorrow and just, you know, bless God. Yeah. Get a job. are really funny that is so cute no see this is the plan come here god yeah you obviously you're you're not clear it seems to me like you're confused so see this is the plan so first we're gonna go to abc right and then i'm going to be the next oprah and then Right, and then I'm going to marry this man from Madrid, okay? And then um, I think I'm going to, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> huh. And so, okay, so now God, now come on now. All right, oh yeah, I, I'm gonna live over there and then, yeah, okay. Well, come on, God, what's up? You gonna let me run the show? Oh, well, I kind of need your help. I gotta do things your way, huh? Go get a job. Let's see. I gotta go get a job. So I went to go get a job and I worked at the unemployed. I mean, I went to go get a job and I worked at an employment agency because that's what God said. And so because God said it, I was happy. See, the thing about it is being in God's will. You see, that's what we are striving to be in his will. And the word of God 
has the answers to most of life's troubles. For instance, if one of your troubles is that you looked in your refrigerator and you didn't see no meat to eat, you looked on the first shelf, the second shelf, the third shelf, and you still didn't see no meat? And you don't have no spam or depotted meat? The Word of God has the answer in 2 Thessalonians 3.10. It says when man don't work, man don't eat. Thank you, Jesus. 